What's up guys, we are here at Torque Custom Cycles. Uh, today's the day, we're finally gonna install the Screaming Eagle Torque Cam on the Roll Glide. It's been in the house for about a month or so. Um, but we finally got everything straightened out. Uh, Mike from here, from uh, Torque Custom Cycles, super nice guy. So if you guys are in the area, check him out. I'm gonna be linking his description down below in the box. So if you guys need any work done to your bike, um, stop by. Great prices. Like I said, Mike's a great guy. Uh, and I'm here with the main man, man, my baby, Jerry. All right, so let's go real quick. Um, we're just starting real quick, just taking a few things off the bike right now. The exhaust and uh, floorboards and all that stuff. We got Mike right here in the back. We're gonna start taking everything off. Floorboards are off, air cleaners coming off right now. Then we can move on to the exhaust and um, then to the good stuff. All right guys, so we have the exhaust off right now. We also had to take off the front fairing off, uh, the spoiler fairing from the front because that was just in the way. Um, unplugged everything, and now what we're doing is that we're taking off the uh, main cover off right here where the uh, torque cam is gonna be placed at. All right, so we're gonna pull the cam chest out and take out the push rods, tap it covers, uh, I believe that you were changing over to the uh, adjustable push rods? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start pulling this all out. All right, so we're going to get rid of the push rods now. Are we going to cut two of them? Yeah, we're going to cut both push rods. We'll use our little rubber band and paper clip special tool. And here. we're going to take the load off the, the uh, lifters and a valve tension right now by spinning the back wheel. In sixth gear. In sixth gear and we'll spin them to the, the, the lifters are down so we can cut the push rods out and we won't hit the valves or bend the valves. And by spinning them, you can see. Okay, they're down. And what you never want to do is, like I said, is cut them with a die grinder. You, you want to use a bolt cutter because if you use a die grinder, you're going to get all the shovel and the, the metal shavings in the motor. Yeah, yep. Wow, just like in the movies, man. Yep. <laughs> I get a nice cut in there. I don't think Mike had his Wheaties this morning. Come on, Mike. Where's the hall cap? We don't want him to do that. <laughs> he'll, he'll cut the push rod and the... Yeah, I think so. Another little trick. <laughs> you can buy a tool to hold the push rod covers up. But you could save yeah. money by just using a rubber band and a paper clip does the same thing. Yep. Save you money. Just little, little bits just along saying. the way. <laughs> right there, you're good. So what's the reason why you're, why you're uh, turning the tire in the back? Because what happens is with the push rods extended up, and when you do cut it, cut the push rod, the valves will snap down. And you don't want to do that because you might loosen the keepers off the top of the springs. Gotcha. So that could happen. So what you want to do is cut them while there's no load on the valves. Alright guys, so we got these SNS Tappet cuffs right here because the ones that Harley Davidson uses are plastic and they tend to break off and there goes your engine when that happens. So we got a, what do we have right here? It's so, the Harley. Yeah, so let's, let's show the camera real quick. This is what Harley gives you, and this is what we're, we got, we're gonna replace it with. That's an asshole right here. Huge, huge difference. You can just tell, this is very well built. I, I really don't know why Harley Davidson's still doing stuff like this. It just makes no sense. 
With these tapper cuffs here, what they do is they, they stop the lifters from being able to rotate in the engine. So if Harley's tapping cuffs here, the plastic ones, if this does snap, the lifter can rotate on the lobe of the camshaft and it can wipe out the bottom of the, of the lifter. And that's the, uh, the stock cam. This is the stock cam. Does that, does that have a shim on it? Yeah. You never put it in dry. You always want to use assembly lube on, on where it goes into the bearing, where the cam goes into the bearing. And these are the lobes where, where the lifters go to. You always want to lube them up before you put it. You never want to put anything in dry. So that's what I'm doing now. And you don't need a lot. You just, you just need a coating across like I'm doing, and that's it. And this is the front where it goes, this goes into the, um, where this goes into the cam plate. That's all we needed to do. Nice. Just like that. And what you do is now it goes into the cam plate. And it fits good, okay? Put this down. Now we're going to replace these seals. This seal right here. Boom. This will sit right in here. And there's one more seal that we're going to replace, which sits down in. That oh, might be on the oil. It's on the oil. Right here. What I do. Yeah, get that out of there. I kind of lube it up. It goes into the oil pump housing. I find it's easier installing it into the housing than on the pump so you don't have to worry about a copy. So rumor has it out there that these crank gears are cracking, the stock gears are cracking. The stock gears. Yeah, in the Milwaukee 8 motors. So uh, fueling has a replacement gear that uh, a lot of the people out there are putting in now. And you can see the difference, the thickness in them. Yeah, let's, let's turn them up. Let's see. That's pretty close. Yeah. The teeth are a little thicker, you can see. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. That's fire and I don't have to look my back in the back right now. Like, mm -hmm. about a, yeah, I know pretty What about Cam? What were you guys going? Uh, I was gonna order pizza for you guys if you wanted. No, just don't tell Sal that. He's gonna be a surprise because you know how he feels about his pizza. Like, he's not coming here and he goes, Are you fucking kidding me? You order pizza? And you don't have to I would have ordered from me. Are you kidding me? You can't bring pizza around that guy. I think it's a little weird that Sal's watching Junior back there while Junior's standing right here. He stepped outside to watch my video and I'm in here. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, Why am I wearing sunglasses inside? Hold on, let me do that again. <laughs> what are we doing for the torque spikes for the, the main uh, square down Okay, the main crank is 15, first step, 24, final. Cam is 50 or 20, and then 34, final. Okay. I know you guys always butcher me for the torque spikes because I just crank everything down. All right. Okay, if you're using your stock lifter, where they came out of, right? You always want to put it back in the same because of the pattern wear, right? Even though you're putting a new cam in, you still want to have the pattern. Wear.
I'm gonna take a little break, even though I'm not the one working, but I need to eat. Because Jerry ate all my food already, he's a bully. <laughs> We're going for bagels. We're going for bagels because that wasn't enough, those two little. I know, I didn't even get anything, so. Yeah. Jerry, are you buying today? Come on. Wow. I just bought a breakfast right now. Yeah. You didn't even say thank you. I didn't get the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I just barely finished my food. Yo, why is Jerry so tall? I don't know. Look at Jerry next to me. No head. <laughs> no head. <laughs> tall Jerry. Somebody in the video said that looked like Gandalf the Great and you guys look like the, the hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> down okay what happens is when you adjust push rods right here these push rods when they go in right you tighten them up to zero lash so what happens is you have to make sure they the, the lifter bleeds down which means that this push rod can spin like in a rotation after you do your final adjustment gotcha if you don't and you try to move the spin the wheel to rotate the motor, you can also bend the valve if this does not bleed down and you do it too quick. Gotcha. All right. So we're waiting now for this for this one, this lifter to bleed down. It's, we did it in the final adjustment, so we're waiting for the lifter to bleed down. Okay. And then once it bleeds down, it's you can adjust it by hand. Yes, you can rotate this rotate by it. hand. Right now you can't. I can't. See how I can't move it? But you will in a few minutes. Maybe about 10, 15 minutes. You know, it can take cool. up to 20 minutes for this to bleed down sometimes. But hopefully we get it pretty quick, maybe within 10 minutes. All right, so they actually started bleeding out right away. We only took about like five minutes, if anything. And now they're, look, you can easily rotate them. And then once this gets here, So now we just got to tighten them up. We're going to tighten up. That's it. That's it. Rich, how long have you been working on bikes? So if they're adjustable, what does that mean? Uh, about 25 years. Oh, no. Long time. Rich is the god up in here right now, man. Uh, I try to Nice, it's like magic. Magic. Front's done. Oh, the rear's done. The rear. Now we'll work on the front. Now we'll rotate the motor 180 degrees. Make sure these lifters in here are down. You guys leave me here by myself. Go eat somewhere. Don't bring me back anything. I don't have bags. You said you didn't want nothing. You got a whole tour pack right there. It's full of what do you got, a, a dead pig in there? It's totally my love you said you were ordering pizza and pizza and Sal had to leave. I am, you guys hungry? I ordered pizza. You guys hungry? You guys done? Do I look like I'm starving? Uh -huh. I ordered some pizza. I'm hungry. We, we see the bigo shop and all of a sudden my alarm starts going off and they're like, what's that? I'm like, I gotta take my shot. And I'm like, oh, it's COVID. This guy just has steroids in the wrist. <laughs> Jerry? <laughs> I was taking four shots a day. I cut. Why are you wearing wands and lane shoes? You're always going to make fun of my fucking <laughs> shoes. Like, these are Harley Davidson, bitch. Oh, I thought they were boots? I thought yeah, they were they're, they're riding boots. I thought they were bowling shoes. <laughs> hey, hey, Help. no hugging, Help. no hugging. Help. Oh, give, give Jerry a hug, because I know you told me you missed him. 
Aww. Did you miss him? Play on my hair. Play on my hair. I'll play with your hair. <laughs> kidding me? I'm not sure you guys had to put this torch out, man. Right, Mike? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the one thing I know how to do is start exhaust. And torque cams. And torque cams, now. We're hanging out with this guy right here. He gave me some of his jeans, you know? What is what? He gave me some of his jeans. Good? Look at this. I found the peanut. <laughs> oh man, I'm good. Hey, guess what? I forgot to put the bolt in. We forgot to put the cam in? Oh man. We put the old cam back in. Can't get it in. I know. Uh, you remember why? Yeah. Remember what we did last time? We did this at my house and I had to pull my exhaust back off. Oh my God! This is like deja vu right here. Yep. Right. All right, that, this is like see. deja vu. Hold on. Let's see if I can just. Vujade. Vujade. <laughs> deja vu. <laughs> I never heard of that one. Which I told them, man. We are looking for a tech. All right. Let her go. Eight or done. The moment of truth, let's have it. That was really great. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the dyno now. Um, and just drop that tune into the Screaming Eagle tuner, um, letting you know that it has a stage two and nine. It'll change everything. Um, yeah, that's, I like it. I got it. So when it came to the horsepower, we were running around 96 and max torque were around 117. And um, everything keeps dying out like around 5,000 RPM. So, I mean, 
we're using a screaming eagle tuner and that's what it's allowing um so i mean obviously we could get a lot more horsepower a lot more torque when you use a third party tuner out there but we're uh we're doing everything with reliability from harley davidson so this is what we have right now uh but the numbers are pretty good the bike sounds great um and it's pulling strong um i just want to you're gonna get it on the road right now i want to see how it's gonna perform while i'm on it as well which is uh it's important to me as well um and that's it i'm gonna get on the road and let you guys know how it feels What do you think? Oh, I think it sounds great. You're gonna hear it even more in a minute when he goes. It definitely sounds good. I just hope you got, you got, now you're gonna have to watch your gas mileage and stuff. Oh, that yeah, sounds, good. sounds good. <laughs> sounds real good. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's the um one of the main reasons why I also wanted to uh, switch out the cam is because we all know that the Milwaukee Eight is really really quiet. Um, it doesn't have that classic, classic Harley Davidson sound. So you really gotta switch out the cam in order to get that deep throttle sound. Um, obviously more performance out of it. But it's just gonna, it's gonna give you that sound and performance that you're looking for. I mean, just hearing that bike roll away from behind, wow. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels good. Smooth. And it's got some power. Good. 